All right, guys, moment of truth, open, and boom shakalaka, baby. Uh. Hi, guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to root the Galaxy Note 9. Let's go do this, baby. All right, before I begin the Galaxy Note 9, you will need to have an unlock bootloader. So I've got the International Exynos model, which is an SMN960. F slash DS. This is a dual SIM model. That is my recommended model. Um, the other model, I think it's called the N9600. It's is the Chinese Snapdragon model. All right, those are the only models that you can root using the standard root method. If you have any of the US versions, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, you're out of luck. I think Canadian, you're also out of luck. You can go ahead and go into settings, about phone, and go ahead and check your model number. All right, mine says SMN960F slash DS. Uh, and go ahead and check with my site and see if your model number is supported. All right, if it's not supported, you cannot root your phone. If you have AT&T or T-Mobile, you can go ahead and grab the international version like I have here, and you'll be able to use it on AT&T and T-Mobile just fine. That's my recommended method for US users on AT&T or T-Mobile. Um, Sprint or Verizons, you guys are just simply out of luck. You'll have to go with like a Pixel phone to get root and also get the unlock version for that. And also before I begin um, rooting your phone, we'll basically permanently disable your Samsung Pay secure folder. Uh, S Health will not work, but you will need to install a custom ROM to make S Health work. The reason is that Samsung has this thing called Knox Counter, and once you unlock the bootloader, it permanently disables Samsung Pay in secure folder. So there's no way around it. Also, when you root, you're gonna have to erase everything, so you're gonna lose everything on your phone. So make a backup before beginning this tutorial. All right, you've been warned. All right, so first thing you wanna do is um, go into About Phone and go into Software Information, and go ahead and hit the build number about five times. All right, and it'll say developer mode has been turned on. I've already did it, so it says it's been already turned on. Uh, once you do that, hit the t hit the back button twice, all right, and you'll see a new menu option called developer options. Go ahead and tap on that, and go ahead and turn on OEM unlock, all right? Now, the first time you do it, it might ask you to do a factory reset. So I already did that. So that will erase everything on your phone already. Um, do that and then go re-sign in and keep following this tutorial. Um, so your OEM unlock should be on. Uh, and after that, we're going to go ahead and simply power off our phone. All right, with the Note 9, getting into the download mode is slightly different. You're going to have to hold down volume down Bixby. And while holding that down, you're going to have to connect it to a USB cable to your computer. So I'm going to hold down volume down Bixby and connect it to the cable. And wait, and you will enter the out and download mode. All right. Um, and then go ahead and hit volume up. And this will enter you into Odin download mode. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, if you don't see OEM unlock option on your phone and you have one of the models supported, um, you could be in OEM unlock jail. Now, my phone didn't have it. I don't know if actually Note 9 has it. If you don't see OEM unlock option, um, just try it again in like seven days and you'll see an option. All right, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, you will need a Windows computer. Um, so go ahead and borrow your Windows computer from your friend or you can buy a netbook on eBay for like 50 bucks. Let's go to our computer. Um, you'll need to download a bunch of files. Go ahead and download the N9S9 root for OEM issue devices. Um, we'll use this instead of Magisk, um, just because if you use regular Magisk, it's gonna break your Note 9. Also download Odin 3 and also download Samsung USB drivers. Um, also twerp uh, recovery. Now all the downloads, um, the links are at the bottom where it says click here to download. Don't click on the ads and go ahead and download all these files. Once you have all downloaded all these files, go ahead and unzip Odin 3, just extract all files. And I've already extracted and this will have all the files you need. Um, go ahead and double click on Odin 3 blah blah dot exe and this will give you the Odin program. Now you should see a blue highlighted sign uh, like that with the random com number. If you don't see that, go ahead and run the Samsung USB driver you downloaded and that will install the drivers and go ahead and unplug the USB and plug it back in and you'll see it. Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and choose AP and you're gonna go ahead and choose the Torp recovery you downloaded for your Note 9. Also, there's two different versions. Um, the Crown LTE, this is for the Exynos. If you have the Snapdragon Chinese version, there's the other version. Um, I'll have it on 
So go ahead and go ahead and download that instead if you have the Snapdragon version. I'll put that on my site. Um, hit open and ready to go. Now before we go any further, we're gonna hold down the volume up, the Bixby, and as soon as the screen goes off, we're gonna hit the power button. That will allow us to enter Torp Recovery right away. And also if you do have OEM jail issue, this will help you bypass it by entering Torp Recovery. Um, otherwise you may break your phone and you'll have to unbrick it by reinstalling stock firmware. So make sure after hitting start, hold down volume up, big speed, and as soon as the screen goes off, you're gonna hit down the power button. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna actually hold down the volume up right now. Hit start, I'm gonna hold down the big speed, and I'm gonna wait till the screen goes off, and then I'm gonna hold down the power button. And we're gonna hold it for one, two, three, all right, three, about three seconds and you'll enter Torp Recovery. If you got to that this point, you're good to go. All right, next go ahead and choose Keep Read Only and go into Wipe and go into Format Data and say yes. This will erase everything on your phone, even though you probably erased everything on your phone by doing OEM Unlock. So do that. This will erase everything on your phone and go back, hit the Home button, go hit the Reboot button and hit, make sure to hit recovery and do not install. This will reboot us back into Tor recovery instead of letting it boot. Now my Note 9 doesn't have the OEM lock issue so I don't have to worry about it, but if yours does, you gotta make sure to reboot back into recovery. Um, keep it read only also here and we're gonna go back to our computer and we're gonna go ahead and copy over the N9 S9 root for OEM issue, copy and you should be able to connect it. Um, it should automatically connect it as a disk drive. Let's go ahead and paste. Uh, if you, for some reason you have trouble here, you can go ahead and use a OTG cable that came with your phone, the, the little adapter, or you can, I have a generic one I bought on eBay, and you can copy the file over into your USB flash drive and also flash it from Torp Recovery. All right, let's go back to our phone. Um, we're gonna do next install. And we're gonna go ahead and choose the N9 S9 root for OEM issued device. Um, swipe to confirm to flash. And this is basically by um, XD user Dr. Keaton um, that has made the modified Magisk available plus the OEM lock disabler all in one script. All right, go ahead and hit next. Agree, next, hit next, and hit next. And go with proceed with ROM flasher and multi tool and do patch for OEM issue. It doesn't hurt to use it. This will prevent your phone from being in the boot loop. Hit next. Um, also root with Magisk. All right, this will install the correct version of Magisk, uh, the modified version, um, so you won't have issues. Go ahead and hit next. Hit next. And run now. All right, go ahead and hit next. And you can go ahead and reboot your device now. Finish. Swipe to unlock, well, reboot, do not install, and you should be good to go. And let's let that reboot, and once rebooted, we'll go ahead and sign in, uh, make sure Magisk is working, Magisk Hide is working, all that good stuff. By the way, this clear case I got from, uh, let me see, Rinke, very nice clear case. I'll, I'll try to have a review of this, but very nice case, really like it. Okay, guys. Um, sorry, I'm running. At, I'm at three percent battery life. Trying to root this phone. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Um, but I've been doing this for a while, so I don't recommend it. Make sure you have enough battery when you do this. Let me go ahead and just sign in real quick. Let's go ahead and see Magisk here. Uh, Magisk Manager should be there. If you don't see it, sometimes it can happen. You can go ahead and download Magisk Manager APK and install it manually. All right, go ahead and open that and boom shakalaka. If you see installed version like that, you have fully rooted your Galaxy Note 9. Pat yourself on the back. Let me go ahead and sign in and download Titanium Backup app real quick. All right guys, moment of truth, open and boom shakalaka, baby. Uh, if you see that, you're good to go. Hit grant um, and you have a fully rooted Galaxy Note 9. Now. Um, you can go ahead and check safety net and if it passes, true, true, you're good to go. Now you can go ahead and hide root from P Pokemon Go, Fortnite, 
um, use Google Pay, all that good stuff. Anyway, if you have any trouble, be sure to post your problems on my forum for the quickest help uh, or on this video comments. Also, you can tweet me at Zetomax, where I usually get back to everybody pretty quick, but hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, very easy to root the Galaxy Note 9. Have a great day, and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.